Hi guys, welcome back to the fun art room. Today we're going to be doing mosaic self-portraits. This is my example. For your lesson, you're gonna need gridded paper. If you don't have a printer at home, you can use your ruler and a pencil to trace those lines. You're also gonna want colored pencils, crayons, and some markers. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now remember, if you don't have gridded paper at home and you don't have a printer, you can always use your ruler and a pencil to make your grids. Now for this, I'm going to be using a marker so that you can see better, but you are gonna wanna start off with your pencil because you can erase your mistakes. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to measure out how wide we want our necks. So I'm going to say my neck is about one, two, three, four squares wide. So I'll make a mark here, one, two, three, four, and a mark here. My neck is a little bit longer than this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and extend my line down until I have two squares left at the bottom of my paper. Now you can always adjust if you have a wider neck or a smaller neck. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and add my shoulders and I'm gonna go four over. So one, two, three, and four on each side. And again, you can always adjust. And I'm gonna go ahead and just draw these lines down to finish off my shoulders. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and move to my head. So you're gonna to want to see where you want your head to be and what shape you want your head. Now I have a longer, skinnier head, but you can always adjust for yourself. So I'm gonna measure up top. We're gonna to wanna to make this square. So only using straight lines, no circles, no ovals. Think squares and rectangles like box men. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way down. So now I need to finish off my neck and I'm gonna do a diagonal line. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just connect all of this together. So now you should have your head, your neck, and your shoulders. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more diagonal lines right here so that you can see my shirt. So next we're gonna go ahead and add hair. Now boys might want shorter hair than girls, so look at your squares and see where you'd want your hair to be. I'm gonna go ahead and start at the top. I'm gonna make a zigzag pattern because my hair is curly. And you can make your zigzags larger or smaller, depending on how your hair looks. And you can always adjust. So right there, that could be a boy haircut, for example. Or if you're a girl with shorter hair, that would also work well for you. Now I'm gonna also go ahead and think my hair is long, so my hair is gonna go behind my back. You might have short hair, which ends at your shoulders. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line all the way up. And over. So now you can see my bangs, my long hair, my face, my neck, and my shoulders. Next, we're gonna move on to adding our nose. So your nose should go right about here. And my nose is just gonna be a cute little square. I'm gonna put one line up just a little bit longer. And you can always make your nose look a little bit different. Maybe you have a little bit of a wider nose or a longer nose. You can adjust however you see fit. Next, I'm gonna add my mouth and I am very happy today. So I'm gonna make a big smile. Notice that I'm using diagonal lines. 
no curves, no circles. So there's my mouth. Next, I'm gonna add my eyes, which are also square. And I have big eyes. So there's that one. And right in the center of your square, you can go ahead and add an even smaller square. So now I have my person. So you should have your hair, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your neck, and your shoulders. And if you made any mistakes, just remember you're using a pencil, so you can go ahead and erase those. Now that we have our outline done, we can go ahead and move forward with coloring in our people. So you can use whatever you have at home although it is gonna be a lot easier to see what you're doing with a crayon or a colored pencil. So for my project, I'm gonna go ahead and use colored pencils. And now with a mosaic, what is really fun to do is to take all of these squares and to color them in with your favorite colors. And you can make different patterns. So there's my one pink, and I'm gonna move on to an even darker pink color. I'm just gonna keep switching back and forth. You can color however you see fit. Okay, artists, now that you have your character filled out and colored in, how can we personalize them to look more like you? So maybe you have glasses, which you could always draw on with more colored pencils, or a marker if you want them to be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my glasses red. I'll make them square all the way around my eyes. Remember, they have to connect over your nose. So put my line there. Then I'm gonna make a diagonal right there. So those are my glasses. And maybe I like to wear a bright bow in my hair. Go ahead and make another square. So there's my hair bow. And now you have all of this empty space where your background is. So what you can do is you can take your colored pencils or your crayons, and I'm gonna take blue and another version of blue, which is a little bit lighter. I'm gonna make my picture have a sky and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and vary the colors. I'm gonna skip a box each time. So that it makes a pattern. Now I'm doing mine diagonal, but you can always go across or down. Okay, artists, now that you have your background done, you are able to customize it any way that you want. So for me, I did a nice checkered background, but maybe you love being outside and you wanna do some clouds and some trees, or maybe you love just fun neon boxes because you love the rainbow, just like me. And now notice 
that this boy also has his whole body. So if you would like, you could also draw your entire body. You don't just have to draw your head. And I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.